Hey cuties, I hope you're doing so well. So, for today's video, I think it's going to be more of like a chill video. I don't have anything special planned other than the fact that I would like to try to do a set of milk bath nails. I've seen these nails on Pinterest and Instagram. I don't think they're that popular right now, but I just think they're so pretty and I really want to try to do them for myself. So this is just gonna be like a chill, maybe short video. My last video was like 40 minutes long, so here are a couple of my inspirations for these nails. So I'm just gonna be trying to basically imitate these. And I think that the method that I'm going to use is going to be similar to the one that I used for my birthday nails, which is where I like use the full cover tips, but I like put the glitter on the inside of the tip, like the underneath. So I really love these tips. I have them on on my left hand right now. They're like a long almond shape full cover gel tips and they're from Timu. Of course, I'll link everything down below. So I'm going to go ahead and use these for my milk bath nails. So I'll just start by sizing them out, just the usual. I'm going to try to account for the fact that there's going to be like gel on the underneath of them. So I'm going to actually size them a little bit bigger than I normally would. It's starting to get hot in my room filming under this ring light because it's summertime now. Also you guys, oh my goodness, I started watching Rick and Morty and I'm literally obsessed with it. I love that show so much. It's my new favorite. I think I'm on season three. I watched the Pickle Rick episode and I could not stop laughing. It was so funny. Like I know South Park is a really popular one, but I don't like South Park as much. I find that Rick and Morty has more plot. It's really funny. I really like it. So here they are, all sized out. And since I'm going to be putting things on the full inside and like covering the full inside with gel, I'm going to prime them using my um, extra strength primer from this company, Morovan. That's how you say it. I can read. All right. So yeah, I'm just going to prep the inside of them. Also, like I really have want to this summer like post three videos a week and then post shorts on the days that I don't post a video. So I'm trying to do that this week. I just haven't really decided which days I'm going to be posting. I can't decide if I want to do Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday or like Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let me know if you have a preference. Also, you guys are so sweet and you're always looking out for me and telling me to make sure to take care of myself and I really appreciate you guys. Just like part of me, like that's just the way I am. I like to hustle a lot and then it's kind of toxic though because I'll hustle a lot and then I'll get like burnt out and um, yeah, I'm trying to not let that happen with this but with my like YouTube channel, so we'll see. I'm gonna try to do three videos a week. I'm not gonna stress myself out too much about it if some weeks I only post two, that's okay. Maybe if a week, if I'm more busy, I'll end up only posting one because I know you guys are like super understanding and supportive and I really appreciate that and love you guys so much for it. Okay, so now the insides are prepped and actually because I'm going to be putting gel on the inside of them first, I'm actually going to attach them to my little stands, my little press-on stands. All right, so I'm just gonna attach each one of these to my stand, basically like the opposite way of you would normally do it. So like, so basically with like the bottom facing up like that. And I'm just using my little glue dots that I've used before. Of course, I'll link them in just the description. These ones are from Amazon and you get like, I got like, I don't know, like 15 of these rolls for like $6, some, something crazy like that. One thing that I have found that is like kind of difficult about like starting a YouTube channel if you've started one or like interested in starting one or just like speaking me personally what I'm dealing with is like like I wasn't growing a lot at first but then I posted a few videos that um, got a lot of views so I was growing like for a couple weeks I was getting like a hundred subscribers per week it was like really crazy growth and I was like so excited about it but then my channel kind of just like plateaued at like 400 subscribers and I'm like not complaining but I'm like so thankful for all of you guys and like all the subscribers I have and I'm really trying like not to think about it as like statistics because because I know each and every one of you guys is a person and like I love each and every 400 like 90 of you guys I love you so much and I'm so thankful that you're here 
and choose to spend your time watching my videos and spending it with me. Alright, so I'm just gonna apply a base coat to the inside of these so that everything else sticks. Just a thin base coat. But yeah, as I was saying, it gets kind of hard to like not lose motivation when you like your growth kind of slows down. It can be kind of discouraging. But I've just been trying to like really stay focused on like why I'm doing this. It's because I really enjoy it and I love doing it. And I don't ever want it to be about like the statistics or the numbers. Like of course I would love to have like a thousand subscribers. But um, I'm just trying to like focus on doing things that actually make me happy with my channel. And just like focus on being myself and making content that not only you guys enjoy, but that is like content that I want to be making. And I'm not saying that the content that I've been making so far is content that I don't want to be making. I love making all of the content I made so far, especially the Timu hauls because I really love buying stuff on Timu. But sometimes part of me is like, oh my goodness, okay, what, what do I need to do this week that is gonna get me the most views? And I'm like, okay, just slow down. Like, what do you need to do this week that is going to make you happy and that is going to be enjoyable for people to watch because you're actually like wanting to do it. All right, so I have these little flowers, like these little dried flowers. I'm pretty sure I got these from Timu. Are you surprised? Yeah, you shouldn't be. All right, um, and I also have these little fruits that I've seen milk baths that have like orange slices in them, maybe like even strawberries, and I feel like adding fruit in could be cute, so that's something that I might do. And then of course I have these gold flakes. So what I'm gonna do is just like take out a few of the things that I'm planning on using and put them on my little palette just so that they're like easier to reach for when I'm actually putting them on my nails. I'm gonna like take out a few of each color. And anyway, I've been feeling a little down recently. Actually like the past few days I've been more down than I've been in like, I don't know, like in a year. It's hard to exactly pinpoint why. I mean, I kind of know why. It's also just kind of hard when you're like feeling down and you can't blame it like on your hormones because like it's not that time of the month, you know what I'm saying? Because I know the times in the, of the month where I'm just not gonna, not gonna feel right. I'm just gonna be in a bad mood no matter what. But when it's not those times and I'm feeling down, I'm like, all right, there's definitely something wrong here. But you know what? You deal with it. Life goes on. Things always get better in my experience. One thing that actually helps me is just like focusing on making videos and focusing like on my YouTube channel. It makes me really happy. Which is one of the reasons why I'm sitting here filming this video right now. And why I'm so thankful that you are watching because I wouldn't have anyone to film for if it wasn't for you. So thank you. Mwah. I'm just gonna take out some gold flakies. Ooh, I've never actually used these things before. It's like so soft. It's kind of weird. So thin. Okay, I'd imagine that that's gonna be enough. Oh, it's flying out everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's enough. And now it's all over my background. All right, it's fine. At least it's gold and not like something gross. And let's see. Um, hmm. What would go well with this? You guys know I love strawberries. I've been literally putting strawberries, I feel like, on all of the sets that I've been making recently. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll take out a few of these lime pieces. I feel like that could maybe be cute. A couple dragon fruit, orange or two. Okay, yeah, I'll put, I'll put a few strawberries. And maybe a kiwi, two kiwis. Okay, so the way I'm going to put these little things in here is using just like my nail glue that I normally use to glue on the tips. It says nail glue. It's basically just, I, I find that it's basically just like a, it's just gel. It's just like a thicker gel. It's not quite hard gel. I don't know if you'd consider it builder gel, but basically it's just like a thick gel. And I'm going to start with the thumb. I'm going to put an even coat of this all over the inside, like that. And then I'm just gonna start sticking things in there. Put a flower there. Be a little kiwi. Down there. Some gold flake all around. More flowers of course. Good thing is is like when you put things in a milk bath they kind of just do what they want. So I feel like there's no wrong way of doing this part. 
This is super random, but I've really been loving burritos recently. Like, I think in the past week I had like three or four burritos. I went from having like never eating burritos to like eating one burrito and being like, oh my goodness, where has this been all of my life? And now I've been eating a lot of burritos. <laughs> like, did you know even Islands has burritos now? Like, the islands where I live has burritos. Isn't that kind of crazy? I don't really like that dragon fruit there, but it's strawberry. And I can always file the stuff off that's like hanging over the edge. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to go ahead and cure it. Alright, so I'm going to leave it on the stand until it, I'm ready to put them all on. And I'm going to start on the second one. So again, just starting with an even layer of the beetle's nail glue all over the inside and repeating the same exact process. Nothing special. And my camera stopped recording and I have no idea when, but I finished the second one and that is what it's looking like. And I'll see the next one. stopping this gold leaf from getting absolutely everywhere. Oh my goodness, I like just remembered that I wanted to start playing this video game that I really love again this summer. It's called Stardew Valley. Have you guys ever heard of it? I'm sure you've heard of it. It's such a chill game and I love it so much and I definitely need to play it this summer. It's so cute. It's like somewhat like Minecraft where you're just like in this little um, village basically and you have a farm and you're basically just like building your farm like with crops and animals and such and you go mining even so it's very much like Minecraft. Alright, gonna pop that one in there. Also, I'm really bad at staying up to date on like Instagram and such. I don't know. I just am like, I'm not one to go like scrolling on Instagram very often. I, I like Pinterest better. I don't know. I do, when I remember, I do try to go on Instagram to see what's happening on there. But I forget. And I forget to post on there too. At one point, like before I started my YouTube, kind of at the beginning of my YouTube journey, I actually, um, I deleted my Instagram for a while because it got like really tired toxic to me. So I was like, all right, I'm going to take a break from this. All right, so just one more left. Also, I want to start this this series, this YouTube short series where I test out pink hair dyes. Like every time I redye my hair, I test out a different pink hair dye until like I find the one that I love and then I just want to continue dyeing my hair that color because I've used um, a few so far, but honestly haven't really found one that's, I mean, okay, the Flamingo by Ion Brights, the Flamingo color semi-permanent, I do really like that one, and if there's one that I would just continue using, it would be that one. But I am interested in trying like a lot of them before I just like make a decision on which one that I want to use continually. So now they've all been cured for a minute, and my desk is also full of gold flakes. So hear me out. I have this little eyeshadow palette. Ooh, look how pretty that is. So I have this little eyeshadow palette. And I particularly was looking at this color right here. It's kind of like an iridescent white one. And I was thinking, what if I like mixed some of this? What if I mix some of this one with the, um, the beetles? I put that on like the underneath. And then I went back on top with this milky white color, which will make it look like, you know, the milk bath nails. There is a lot going on already, but you know, it's all right. If it looks too busy in the end, it's fine, all right? We're experimenting. And I'm gonna get out a good amount of this um, basically just clear gel. Not too, too much so, because I'm just gonna go over with like a thin layer. And then I'm just gonna use the back of these little tweezers 
to scrape out a little bit of this eyeshadow into it. That should be good. And by the way, I don't use this eyeshadow palette. Um, it's an eyeshadow palette that my mom gave me that she was going to get rid of. It was just like a really cheap one that I think she got from TJ Maxx. And she was going to just get rid of it. But I was like, no, I'll take that and I'll use it for like my resin projects and my nails and such. Alright, so now I'm just going to mix that together using my little spatula. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like this a lot. It's definitely not showing up on camera as pretty as it is. Hold up. Look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty. The camera is definitely not doing it justice, but it has like blue reflect. And it's so gorgeous. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to take this pretty large brush and just cover the back of this with a little thin layer of it. I'm hoping that it doesn't totally get covered up by the milky white. I don't think it will. I think it'll still be able to shine through. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna do that for all of them. And I am basically just putting it in the places, like I'm not covering, or I'm trying not to cover really the backs of the flowers and the fruit because that there's no really point in doing that. You're not gonna be able to see it. And this goes without saying, but this is a great, like, um, this is a great design or method to do if you're not great at using your non-dominant hand yet. So I am conveniently doing this for my right hand. So I'm basically just going to pop them on after. And then all I'll have to do is put like it's a white in the top coat. So that'll be easy. Alrighty, so I think they're all covered with a pretty generous layer of the eyeshadow concoction. Can you see it better like this? I don't know. I feel like it's not really showing up on camera that well. But it just adds like a really pretty blue shimmer. Might have to go in on top after the milky white. All right, I'm gonna pop these in for a minute. Bro, there's a plane flying by that I like swear is taking like an hour to pass. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a base coat um, on this hand so I can pop these on and finish them. I did already clean up the cuticles like a couple days ago, so I'm not gonna do that again. I'm just gonna like dehydrate and put my Jello Jello peel off base coat on, and then we will pop these on together. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the prep off camera because you guys have seen that a million times by now. Okay, so the base coat is on, and now we are just going to put these tips on like you would normally do a full cover tip using the Gel X method. Just gonna pop them off one by one. Okay, that did not work. I am so dumb. How is gel supposed to cure through that? I'm so dumb. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Am I going to have to attempt to use acrylic for the first time in my entire life, or do I just use nail glue? The amount of airplanes tonight is very infuriating. Okay, so I made up my mind. I'm going to break out my monomer and my acrylic. I'm going to use this um, Mia Secret Cover Rose to try to apply these full cover tips with acrylic. And have I ever used acrylic in monomer before? No. Literally never in my life. Ooh, yeah. This is kind of stinky. I'm about to stink up my whole room just because of this. It's fine. Actually, you know what? It doesn't smell that bad. I feel like I'm going to get this everywhere. Oh! <sighs> it got everywhere. Shit. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty stinky. Definitely gonna have to wash this background after this. I'm tight as tight as possible. Oh yeah, get a whiff of that. Knowing my dad, he's gonna like definitely be asking me, what's that smell? <coughs> what's that smell? And my brother, they're both gonna be acting like they're dying because of the smell of some monomer. So, I have my paper towel, I have my monomer. I have my acrylic that I am just now opening for the first time ever. Oh shit, why am I like this? Why does this monomer actually low key smell kind of good? Okay, so I'm gonna use this acrylic brush that I got in a set from Timu. I've literally never used acrylic before, so I have no other acrylic brush. I'm hoping that um, this is gonna work. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna do a practice bead. Okay, dip it in the monomer, then basically drain most of it out, and then pat it three times. Voila. That actually wasn't too bad. You can't see that, but there it is. I definitely like that color. You know, maybe this is what I need in order to get me to actually use my acrylic. Just need this little push. So I'm gonna try that again. I'm just gonna go straight for it. I'm just gonna go straight for it. I'm gonna try to make my bead a little bit more wet this time. So I'm only gonna drain like half of it. 
I'm going to tip it upside down and wait for it to kind of absorb a little bit and dry a little bit. Alright, that looks about good. And I'm literally just going to put it on here. And I'm actually going to get a much wetter bead and put it there. And I'm just going to I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm gonna hold it down like that for a while. I have no idea how long this stuff dry it takes to dry because I've never used it before. So a lot of it is squeezing out. That's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Nope. That did not work. That did not work. Alright, I give up. I poured this monomer for nothing. I smelled up my room for nothing. Um, or using glue. And I'm just gonna wipe my nail off with some alcohol and get out my trusty McCart nail glue. I'm gonna put a layer on my nail and I'm gonna put a nice big layer on here. Basically like how I would normally do a gel, putting like extra at the end. Just gotta fill that apex. I don't want there to be a bunch of air bubbles. And I'm actually just going to let that dry for a few seconds. And now let's try to put it on. Alright, it's on. Uh, it's not on there great, mostly because of this kiwi. Honestly, didn't think this through all the way. Um, but we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go with it. No, 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 no. You guys, this is a mess. This is a mess. And now it's stuck to my nail. Alright, I'm going to file that off. Okay, so I realized in order to glue it on, I'm going to need to put another layer of gel underneath here first and cure that to like flatten it out so that um, I can actually glue it on like without there being a giant apex and creating air bubbles from like the kiwi. So I'm just going in, just kind of like gooping it on there, trying to like level it all out. I'm not gonna lie, I did not anticipate gluing on the tips to be um, the hardest part of this today. Okay, so I put a layer of gel um, on each of these tips where it's going to touch my nail. And I did that so that um, it will be much easier to glue them on because the surface will be flat. I literally feel like there has been airplanes flying over my house non-stop during this video. But anyway, I'm just going to wipe my nails off with some alcohol. And now I'm going to try yet again to glue these tips on. This is just definitely not going as I planned. It's definitely all over the place and not really working out. It honestly seems to be kind of like the theme the past couple videos, hasn't it? The strawberry nails are also very difficult. But you know what, that's okay. Because you know what, how else do you learn? If things aren't challenging and you are not challenged, how do you learn? So you know what, it's okay. It's fine. Things don't always work out the way that you want. You don't have to do everything perfect the first time. And I think I need more glue. This is not working. It's not working. It's not working. This is not working. Okay, I think I found a solution because I really don't want to like um, have to redo these. I do really like these and I do want to be able to put them on and finish them even if they're not going to be on for a long time. So. I'm actually going to use these sticky tabs to try to apply them. I'm going to do like the sticky tabs with the nail glue like method that I've seen people try and I think that should be able to keep them on for a little while. So before I do that though, I'm actually just going to go ahead and file the sides. Okay, so they're all filed in smooth on the side, so I'm just going to wipe everything off with some alcohol to get rid of the dust. Okay, so it's all dust free now, so now I'm going to try to use these sticky tabs to stick them on. And this is literally my last hope, so I'm really hoping that this works. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to finish them and not get to stick them on. Okay, so now that all the sticky tabs are basically on, I'm just going to go one by one and stick these on. So I'm just going to like peel 
the um, plastic layer off of the tab. And then I'm going to put some glue on top of the sticky tab. I've seen people do this on TikTok, so hopefully it works. I'm hoping that it works well enough to just keep them on until tomorrow morning when I can take pictures of them. Okay, and now I'm just going to press it on. And I'm not taking any chances. I'm keeping it pressed on for a while. 20 seconds at least. I think that's good. Okay, I'm not messing with that. It feels pretty secure. All right. Oh my goodness. Yay, I'm so glad that worked. All right. I'm just going to continue to do that for all the rest of them now. Okay, so they're all on there. Are they extremely secure? No. And um, are they perfect? No. There's honestly a lot of filing that should be done around here, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to take these off tomorrow morning, so I'm just not even going to bother. I'm just going to go ahead and finish these up and pray that they stay on until the morning. I would buff them before doing anything else on top of them, but I'm really scared that if I um, apply too much pressure with the buffer that it's going to pop off. And I don't think that I can take that today. And I'm actually just going to go straight in with this milky white color and hope for the best. Alright, not bad, not bad. I think I'm just going to leave them like that to be honest. Although, I feel like they also would be really pretty without that. No, I'll just, I'll just cure it. I'll just cure it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a layer of that white to all of them. It's just like a very thin layer. Just like barely. Just to make it pretty much just like a little cloudy. So it looks like it's in some sort of white liquid. Alright, so this is how they're looking. I think they're so pretty. I really wish that it like went how I wanted it to because these are so beautiful and I would love to keep these on but I just know that they're not going to stay on. So to finish these off, I'm just going to apply my top coat. Honestly, I feel like uh, this video just did not go well at all. I don't know, it just like didn't go how I was anticipating or how I wanted it to go. And I'm honestly kind of thinking about whether I should even post it or not. But in the end, I do think that these nails came out really pretty even though they're by no means perfect or by no means my best work at all. And at this point, since I am such a small channel right now, I just think that um, it's more important to practice and keep getting out videos than to worry about how perfect each single video is. And I think it's also good to show you that like doing your nails isn't easy. It's like hard. Not everything always goes as planned, but that's okay. You just gotta like push through it and try not to get discouraged. I've already made a video about how not to get discouraged as a beginner. Here is that being put into practice. Just keep pushing through. Alrighty you guys, so here are the finished nails, my little attempt at milk bath nails. If they stay on until tomorrow morning, I will definitely show you outside in the sun what they look like. I think they'll be super pretty. I do actually really love how they turned out. I think they're super cute. And if this video went the way that I was hoping it would, I think these would definitely be one of my favorite sets so far. Anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you could give this video a like, it would help me out so much and I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoy these videos, you can subscribe and become part of my little family here on YouTube. I would love, love, love to have you. It would make me so happy. Thank you for being here. I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.